I think she's a good person. Yeah, yeah. We don't. I, I don't think. I think we have to talk about these shows and not go to the place of like. She, she, but she's a good person, or but he's a bad person. Yeah, because we are all, all uh, that's a mix of both. Yeah, and so nobody. Our criticisms about these characters. Nobody is getting, like. Sentenced to to like being hated for the rest to of like their lives in jail. our eyes. It's yeah. just like the decisions they're making now and their motivations and their thinking. Yeah, that's just what we're trying to like guess at and have fun with. Also, like you always say, sorry, just like being on the show and the power of the show and the magnitude of it, it and like that, it, the it, role it, that it plays in your decision making it has to be considered. Really messes with you, yes. and it, it's a big part of your actions. And yes, the viewers when you're have twenty to two years old you're not able to like really see as clearly or think maturely enough about what uh, how what are the consequences of my actions it's, you a, know? it's a very complicated game uh -huh. that they're all in uh -huh. hi oh, 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 oh. that was so gentle yeah that was very graceful so let's just all take one big deep breath mm -hmm. wait i started on an out breath okay I've been trying to do that when I play golf and then these the guys who I was playing with I hope they didn't notice that like I had to take like big deep breaths before I hit the every ball. I really don't think that you should be concerned about what they think about you taking I think, deep breaths. I think that's why I'm not as good at golf as I could be because I'm more concerned about that. That's why I kind of like playing by myself. Mm -hmm. Any but You any. should just play by yourself. Not always or with people option. that you feel comfortable with. Oh. Um <laughs> Or you could just work on not caring what other people yes, think. Yeah, that's what I'm working on. That's yeah. Working on. I don't care. I don't even care. I'm sure they have weird little things that they do too yeah. that they wouldn't want people to notice. But you'd be like, I don't think about how you, you feel. You'd be like, I don't care if you need to take a deep breath. Go for it. Please. Like, that doesn't make me think poorly of you. Like, you have anchor problems or anything. <laughs> <laughs> there, uh, there's some channel business. Per uh, huge. Per huge. Uh, hopefully the audio and video issues, which we've had across the last four videos, are done because we have Annie here. Annie, if you could. Yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> Annie is is the community. Yeah. Okay. She's not. She's not just a regular. She's not just an OG. She's the community. Mm. She's part of the family. Mm -hmm. Annie, we love you. We love you. We love you. <laughs> thank you, and thank you very much. Um, it's a huge weight off of my mind. We can yeah. just enjoy the show. Totally. But don't judge us. Oh, me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never, what? Um, okay. Other channel business. Um, I wanted to tell you guys what uh, we do to get ready before we record. Oh, yeah. It's a funny little ritual. Well... When you you say what you did today, and then I'll say what I did. Today. Okay. Well, um, the first question is if I'm gonna switch my coffee into a mug or keep it in the plastic, the paper cup. And I decide, even though this doesn't, I I know I've said this before, but it doesn't take away that I still use the the paper cup. Right. We're supposed to bring that like to the coffee shop. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Um, so I did that, and then I I washed my face. I put some new serums on that um, Nicole Hirschman, a wonderful facialist that I see, gave me this week, and I'm loving them, and I feel like my skin is looking really good right now. So I did some skin stuff, curled my eyelashes, brushed up my eyebrows, put lip oil on, figure it out if I wanted to wear my hair down or in half a path down, mm. put a bra on, mm. And put a little bit of perf I put on a little bit of roll on like Egyptian musk perfume so that I could smell good. It's nice. It's nice. Um, I I wore a hat on taking Sunny to school to like mat my hair down from from uh, the night because I wake up and it's like that. It's called setting it and forgetting it. I'm sure you've mentioned it on here before. It's a, yeah, it's, it's not a true set and forget because it wasn't coming out of the shower. Mm. But it's it is definitely in the set and forget. Family. family. I um, shaved my beard from out of my eyeballs. <laughs> Where do you have 
Like I just the the, the hair that goes oh like, on your up. cheeks. Yeah, just up. I, I like I like trim that. I, trim. I get hair there too. What? <laughs> that which is fine. That is totally fine. As you get old, just get Shit ready. Happens. Hair is about to grow from places <laughs> on my body and face that you. I'm in for it. I'm in for all of it. I really am. In terms of growing I'll old. I'll be like, mom. Sorry. Can I? Can I get that? Like, has it, have, have you looked at your face? Like, a long white wire. Thing. Me and my sister always have a hair growing straight out of the middle of our forehead that's like three and a half inches long. We're like, <laughs> let's go get laser hair removal. No, let's just, let's, I mean, okay, we, maybe, but, okay. but uh, let's also embrace it. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, I trimmed that and then I fixed my claw slash bow tie schnauzer situation here, although you can never fix it because I can't like dye the hair. I mean, you Um, can, but you don't. I had already brushed my teeth and put on deodorant this morning. Uh, And that's that's what I did. That was our prep. All right, let's watch this. That's BTS for you. Um, Should we watch the sewed? Is there anything? You. Oh my god, do I have a crazy eyebrow? Yeah, I think do I have a, a little maybe eyebrow? to add to your routine, like mm-hmm. brushing them up like I do. Because um, you and I have notoriously bushy <laughs> eyebrows. They're notorious. Uh, they're like on a wanted sign in a post office. Also, I wanted to say that like people are like, Timmy, you're too hard on yourself in terms of your looks and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and like, it's, I, like I am, but it's also a, a shtick yeah. and like... I, um, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fi- like, you don't worry. Yourself. Yeah, like, yeah. I know I have a red ass face, but like, it, it's fine. Mm-hmm. All right. I think you just are not used to taking selfies that whenever you do it, you're so surprised I by your face. the first, <laughs> how old am I? 30, like eight years of my life, not really looking at myself as much as I do now. Now uh-huh. I spend like a ton of time on the computer and this shit and it's, uh-huh. It's new to me, uh-huh. but I think everybody is looking at themselves more than ever now because of like Zoom and video right. and all that That's stuff. That's a good point. Um, but even though I bust my own chops, I'm not like uh, I'm not that upset. Insecure about it, good. No, your nails look really nice. Oh my god, thank you. I have French tips. You uh, should start your own channel. Whitney, stop trying to kick me off your channel. I kind of just want to make my channel called something else. Okay, we'll we'll talk about this. We're not getting a YouTube divorce. (laughs) All right, um, let's just let's just react to the episode. Yeah, let's do it. I'm excited. Close to my real friends. (laughs) Heidi took Spencer to Colorado to meet her parents. If you guys end up having trouble, where are you going to go? So the coast was clear for Brody to to invite us to his barbecue. We're all here at the barbecue. You're blowing it. And when Justin You're blowing it! Aww. This barbecue rules! You're blowing it! <laughs> Even though he just broke his arm. Um, yeah. Also, I heard in the comments that they just told Justin Bobby like he was done filming. And like Audrina had to film more scenes. <laughs> Why would she cry then? Because maybe they didn't tell her. Now Brody and I were hanging out again. And that was about to make someone very angry. Don't wind up Spencer, because that means that rating. That's so weird that Justin just left you with that barbecue last night. I mean, I think I kind of overreacted. I don't think you did at all. No. Actually, I left my helmet there last night. I like this setup. Uh huh. Probably. I mean, it's one of those things where it's up and down, up and down, up and down. When is it going to stop? I mean, it's been going on for two years and then it stopped. You think it's going to stop now? I'm surprised Heidi and Spencer didn't pop in yesterday. I guess Brody and Spencer are kind of drifting. Oh my god, they're going to be pissed when they find out we were hanging out with Brody yesterday. Well, I guess that's what happens. I, mean, I can tell Brody's like trying to be cool about it, but... <laughs> my, how the tables Less have turned. Yes. Yes. What? Oh, not the dirty window. Eliminate the words that you cannot find. Reaching, reaching for someone in the distance. Someone in the of distance. Of course, you can almost taste it. Release your inhibition. Oh, shit. Hip hop with me. On on your skin. Face. No Every one else can feel it, it for you. No Only one. you can let it in. No one else can. No one else can speak the words on your lips. Touch uh, yourself uh. with words unspoken. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Live your life with arms wide open. <laughs> Today is where your book begins. The rest is still unwritten. 
Wicked, wicked Victorian boot. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> but, 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 Victorian boot. <laughs> and you're like, oh, this is my glass shoe collection that uh, my grandma got because she doesn't fly. Everyone's like, what, teenage wit? You are. So why do whenever, whenever <laughs> anyone asks me why I go to Missouri, my answer is always, well. Here's my grandparents didn't like to fly, I so they <laughs> drove everywhere across country. And one day they stumbled upon this place in in Lake of the Ozarks, and they woke up, and all of a sudden they were on a lake. Like that's just, everyone's like they're like I gotta catch this bus, lady. Like I got to go. I'm so Forrest Gump. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best. <laughs> you, that would be so good if they did another Forrest Gump, but with a woman, and you were that woman. Oh I can feel like that's a good Forrest Gump. I looked like, like For Forrest Gump the kid uh -huh. and I uh -huh. looked exactly the same. Yeah, I see that. I mean, I didn't know you as a kid, but I can see, I see a picture. Robin Wright Penn and I look exactly like all the time. That's awesome. That's <laughs> okay. Let's go. Okay. Rolling with the enemies. Oh, it's like Rolling with the Homies from Clueless, mm -hmm. which we watched the other night. You also. I know. I was bummed. Okay, Bolt House. We haven't been to work with Heidi in a while. Let's see if Elodie made it. <laughs> Super professional. Pinstripe suit and button down. Shell. Oh, it's a meeting. Are Lauren and Brody going back out? I saw them this weekend. I mean, last time I heard, they hated each other, so. Uh. It's a little funny. <laughs> and it's pretty weird. Uh, oh, your face. Deb. I'm coming, I'm coming. So you guys know that tonight we have a party for Chelsea Soccer Club. Chelsea Football Club. Chelsea Football Club. <laughs> They're the, one of the biggest soccer teams over there. They are doing an expo game Whoa, with the see? Galaxy, which just brought David Beckham here, so it's kind of a big deal. Heidi, I want you to do setup check-ins and um, get that stuff organized. Her head is in another place. Yeah, and like, reminder, she has a job. Yeah, she, she's like, set up, check in, and party. Okay, <laughs> you want me to organize the and that? <laughs> On it! It's an exit. What did you do this weekend? This is right I by my high school. Bit, Have I said that before? I came no. Back and mm -hmm. I went to the beach, pretty much. We went to Brody's Barbecue in Malibu. Was it fun? Hold on. The fire. Know that like howling wind sound. <laughs> Just the Santa Ana's blowing a fire tornado into our backyard. Everyone look at your phones. Can you text and can you record a voice note? Yes, you can. And reading for treatments in the newsstands. It was fun, but Lauren got really emotional because we were talking about how hard it is to find good friends in LA and like mm -hmm. good girlfriends mm -hmm. in general. And sorry, did you want to speak on that? Well, I was saying like. Audrina was the one that got emotional. But what are they talking, they're talking about, oh, the first conversation at the party about Heidi, right? How she was sad about their, their friendship. Oh, yeah, all I heard was finding friends in, good friends, good girlfriends in LA. And I mm -hmm. thought you had, you had a nugget oh. of wisdom for them. No nug. No no. When her and Heidi were such good friends, we're sitting there on the couch, like it's nighttime by this time. And then she went in the house real quick and she came back out with my helmet. She's like, Justin left. I'm like, he just peaced out? He just out? left? And I started crying. That's not times. something you would usually cry about. Right? No, never. I've you never cried over a guy like in my life. Never. And then I called him after. I was like, well, you should have called me first. Like, I'm the one calling you first. Yeah. I got all emotional and I was like, how can you just leave without saying bye? I'm done. Like, I can't deal with this anymore. And Final straw. Uh, I've said that I so many that. times. I just, it's like, I'm on this roller coaster ride with Justin and it's slow, like, highs and lows and, like, I like him and I don't like him and it's just. Whatever. <laughs> it's roller coasters are so fun. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What did she say? She said, whatever. Roller coasters are so fun. I feel like maybe he was done filming, but he clearly didn't tell her he was leaving, which is still not a nice move. Like, he was maybe done with work, but, like, he should have still said goodbye if they're actually kind of hanging out. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, it's okay. it just, it, Justin doesn't, I don't know Justin Bobby, but it doesn't strike me like he would do that. I agree. He's a Pisces like me. We just right, wouldn't so do something that, like so that. There you go. <laughs> Proof. Just wouldn't do something like uh, that. Did you know that JB and I bond over being a Pisces all the time? Cool. I'm not huge on astrology. 
I know, but I thought that it would be a fun nugget for people to know that we bond about oh, something like that. Oh, yes. I think that is a fun nugget to know. Um, I think what happened was they were just like, okay, dude, like, you're done. Like, let me get your mic. See you mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. And he'd be like, all right, well, like... Should I go say goodbye to like Aldrina? And they're like, um, she's busy. Like, don't worry. And he's like, we'll and he'd just be bye. like, like, all right. <laughs>all right, business Heidi is home. Spencer's been there all day playing centipede. Brent said that he saw Brody and Lauren together. Uh, 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 that's like hell uh, freezing uh, over uh, to me. Uh, uh. <laughs> His face is turning so red all of a sudden. Over to me, teach their own. Well, good for them, they need each other. I like this song. Look, oh, dude. Yes, I've never been to this club. <laughs> Holy shit, is that the line to get in or no, the club? No, that's the patio. That's, uh, the, that's a fun part. That's exactly, uh, my friend Adrian stood right where <laughs> the camera is. <laughs> And did the mangina to exactly that crowd, and I was standing like right where that guy is in the white t-shirt. And there's I, so many guys in white t-shirts, but, but yes. I, but we have the ability to use arrows, and okay. I was the only one who saw it. I was like looking what? around, and no one no. else was like this or no. anything. Everyone was just like, "What is on my BlackBerry?" <laughs> 2007. Oh my God, this looks like a super spreader. Super spreader event. <laughs> People are gonna be like, what was the mangina? And I'm not gonna be able to tell them. Ugh. Talk about it. Mmm. Mmm, Brian. Is that what Sunny's gonna look like? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> Justin. Um, all right, is it better? Yeah. Are we in focus? Are we recording? Yeah. This feels so good to not worry about all that. Okay. It can just be you. Lauren is doing a scene, you guys. So everyone. Three. Just like, not about story. Just you know telling I mean? your story, yeah. Just chatting. Just we had you what? Two stepping, baby, two stepping. Uh, hey, listen, you know what we need to do? Listen, oh, real quick, Sunday, this Sunday, let's all go to the Roosevelt pool. I'm there every Sunday. <laughs> Whoa, sorry, oh. You'll probably get there what time, 6 a.m.? <laughs> to get a good chair. <laughs> okay, so I want to come. You need to be there. You know what's even more fun? What? You're gone now. Oh, oh. someone's a little boozed up. We're going back to the condo tonight. Okay? Let's get out of here. Let's go. Just come with me, Playboy. Playboy? Brody, Spencer's not going to be there, is he? Spencer, you got to realize something real quick. Spencer doesn't go out. Spencer sits at home all night. We're always together. We're all, I like you, we're friends, who cares? Let's go have fun, let's go party. Come on, okay. get at it. Uh, uh. Yeah. Oof, lunges. The worst. Running. Equally. Okay. Whitney. Next one is a <laughs> navy dress. With Ooh, that ponytail. Who's the brand? What brand is it? April May. That is not on here. It's not. Okay. Were you out last so night? I was. I think I was about to say fuck. Ooh. I went. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was. I went to Ledu. That's fun. Yeah. Lily McNeil, pink shirt. Oh, I did find it. Oh, Ooh, okay. Is that it? Yeah, that's, oh, I found it. Brody and Frankie were there too, so we all just sat together. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. No Spencer and Heidi? No. 
I guess Spencer found out that Brody had been hanging out with me, and now he's not returning Brody's phone calls. That's a little um, immature. But you know what? It happens. Me and Heidi were best best friends. That's true. But you guys didn't end being friends because she was hanging out with someone you didn't necessarily like, you know? No, Whitney. Yeah, that is what happened. <laughs> You're so innocent. That's exactly what <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but friends. Brody's not dating you. Oh, I He's know. Like, I know you guys is. are friends. I mean, it's probably just a momentary tiff. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Put that on a sticker. <laughs> Momentary tip. I love that word, Tiff. Do you know my name was gonna be Tiffany? Or Crystal? <gasps> oh! <laughs> so iconic, the rabbit face in disgust of the name Crystal. Sorry, all you crystals out there, but your name sucks. <laughs> I went to, um... Could you see me? You went to... I went to the, the dermatolo dermatologist last week to, like, talking about my skin, and she was like, do you want to do anything about those bunny lines no. you have? Like you have, you're, they're gonna get really deep no. with me. And I was like, I no. just let, just no. let I them. I mean, whatever you want, <laughs> you can fix your nose if you says so. But no, that's cute. It's cute. It's cute. You're Crystal? cute. Crystal, could you see there me as a go. Tiffany or Crystal? Tiff, Chris, Chrissy, <laughs> Crystal, Crystal. <laughs> That's so nice to have like <laughs> weird Whitney on the show. Like, I agree. I always wanted them to show more weird Whitney. Wow. Now I get to show you guys weird uh, Whitney. <laughs> oh my God, a Hummer limo, my dream car. <laughs> Adrina? I yeah. want a waterfall. I have a wardrobe question Hi. for you. Um, I'm wearing leather. Blue. Adrina has great hair too. Or the black. Ooh, low looking low. sexual. It's like she heard me at New Year's. She was like, I'm not eight. Look at this. With red lips. I like the blue. Where are you going? I am with going you. to dinner with Justin. I'm going to 40 Deuce. I got tickets. To <laughs> Bella. We're sitting courtside for the rodeo at 40 Deuce. It's like definitely the, the random things that happened in this era, you know? Like, Think about all the weird events mm -hmm. that were happening. Mm -hmm. There's no more events in COVID. Where are you going? Yeah, sure you are. We're going to toy. I'm sorry, we're on your way. You're trying to get ready for your I'm day. sorry. Toy? Big <laughs> <laughs> names of this place. In Girl Hatton, that's something we did a lot. We like came up with very silly names for the clubs, and it's because of shit like this. The yeah. clubs all had the dumbest names. I feel like she like means koi, but she <laughs> said it wrong. Toy. The clubs we met up were like, we're going to brick. <laughs> Right, oh, is he gonna be here soon? Yeah, he should be here soon. Is he coming up? No, he's like, I'm gonna call you and just come down. Wait, have you seen him since the barbecue? No, well, I've talked to him. He wants to take things super slow and evolve and like become best friends before boyfriend and girlfriend. Haven't you been dating him off and on for two years? Yeah. Can you not talk to me with your hand on your head? Yeah, this is way too incredibly official. Incredibly aggressive. Like, we both have this whole part of our body showing, and you have your hand on your hip. Can we just take it down? A notch. A notch. I'm just going out with Justin Burbies. <laughs> he should probably be your boyfriend by now. Lo, your vibe is the uh, coolest car I've ever yeah, seen in my life. Yeah, that is a really cool Justin car. Bobby is the man. I Honestly, I don't remember like all the stuff that is going to go down with Justin Bobby. I see in the comments like some shit is going to uh -huh, go down. Uh -huh. And people have really strong feelings for him. But like I'm unequivocally on his side like right now. He's he hasn't cool done a single guy. thing. He pulls off wearing crazy short pants. I would wear combat boots to the beach if I could. And this car is obviously super cool. <laughs> it's true. Like Audrina should definitely be trying to hang out with him. Because <laughs> truth and time tells it all. And it, it also tells it. She's into it. She gets I'm it. She's into it. She's like, it. I don't care about the bad stuff. That's a, I want that car. <laughs> <laughs> what is that car? It's an El Camino. Ooh. I wonder if he still has it. Can you play an instrument so we can be in a band? Can I just bob my head? Yeah, you're the dancer. Oh, they are toy. going to toy. <laughs> I think What's this is like I think you gotta do the uh, rice with the pork. Yeah. You're full, you're full, huh? I ate that Chinese food earlier. Why do we even go to dinner? 
We're hanging out and we're getting to know each other. Oh, I know you. I am. Sometimes you surprise me, but I get the gist of it, you know? Just, am I that easy to figure out? No. But I mean, think of how long we've known each other. I can't see any other way but to take it slow and be cool, you know what I mean? Like how slow is slow for you? It's not a matter of like how slow, how fast. It's, it's just like, for me, putting statements on things, I'll be gone. Like, I don't, I don't like that. It's just. He doesn't like labels. It's the fact of. Like the whole boyfriend girlfriend label? It's, it's, like with my friend, like Lauren and everyone, we go, what are you now? Who cares? I don't like He's definitely not going to like being pressured by Lauren and Lo. No, that's for sure. But also. I mean, I don't blame her for wanting to be his girlfriend, but then she needs to set it up more straight up. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame her either. If she likes him and wants mm -hmm. to be her boyfriend, girlfriend, she has yeah. every right to that. I'm yeah. just saying, I'm just predicting how he's going to react to like yeah. this morning. Like, Things yeah. get in your ear. Or she looks ear, like, she does. Guess boyfriend, girlfriend, like, who cares? Like, why do they care? It actually pisses me off because... Now they're off Something's topic working, about, about them. Up by throwing labels or doing stupid by throwing a ring on your finger because society, our friends, said. So you know what? No, no chill, just love me. He doesn't give an f about Lauren yeah, and Lo. Not about what you, they think. but I, of course she hears it as her. Right, right, and people are gonna think that he's an mean, asshole, mean. but it's and he he shouldn't like they don't. He doesn't owe them anything. He's not in a relationship with them. It, it, nobody has to go to jail for being an asshole or not an asshole. It's just like the the, the miscommunications lead to all this this strife. Strife. Hashtag. Strife. It's like we finish each other's sentences. <laughs> Quiznos. Uggs and Escalades. Hand tats and your mom's. I got a hand tat. <laughs> oh, people want to know about your tattoos. I know you've told, but not every you probably not everyone who watches the reaction videos. No. Yeah, I have a D for my dad and my pinky, and then I have a little sunny on my wrist, if you can see that Annie actually drew. Annie's right there. She has single use plastic. <laughs> I want more. Well, I got it for her. I mean you did too. Mm. That's on us. Yo, what up? Yo, what up? Dude, I've called you like five times. Like, why? You're not returning my phone calls? I really have nothing to say to you. Oh, you're mad at me? What are you mad at me for? Because I've been hearing about who your new little best friend is, and I don't, I don't respect that. Dude, if you are mad at me for hanging out with Lauren, that is ridiculous. It's like, how long have we been friends for? I'm not going to have an enemy just because you hate her. That's just not who I am. No, you can make excuses, excuses, this and that. I care about loyalty and... You have none of it. Dude, I don't have a problem with you. You know that. It's like, I love you. We've been best friends since kids. It's like, I don't have a problem with Lauren either. So I'm not just going to go around hating Lauren just because you hate Lauren. You are rolling around with my enemy. So that makes you my enemy. Mm. You not see how that works? This is like, I feel like I'm back in high school with this. How, how long have I been friends with you? I got nothing to say to you. Mm. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Mm. What do you mm. feel about that, mm. though? Feels like, real. I know, no, I, it feels real, but like, if you were best friends with someone. And they were dating my mortal enemy? Well, I guess we're not even dating. Let's keep watching. Oh, okay. Bitch. Ooh. I'm gonna Ooh. drive mean. Yes. Don't drive angry, guys. I feel like that, that billboard's still there for Apple. The Roosevelt. Bus, bus, tattoos, hats, <laughs> drinks. The Roosevelt, STDs, so many. orange juice, mimosas, bikinis, spray on tans, hats, big glasses, blonde haired chicks, yep. what about that hanging guy? with your belly out, okay, shaving your chest. Oh my god, day know. parties? Did you do this in New York? Like, did you go Never to once in my entire life would I hang out during the day. You never went to like rooftop pools or anything Soho like that? Soho House had yeah. a pool that I went to once. And, uh, oh my God, imagine like, like sitting like this, like with your shirt off in front of girls. That's crazy. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I've never been to like the Vegas, no. Day, pool, day parties, oh. But tell us, tell us about your big date with Justin. Oh yeah, 
I don't know. It doesn't seem like he wants to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Wait, are you or are you? <laughs> exactly. It seems like. Well, he doesn't want any labels. Something that I have to get used to. And I don't want to be oversensitive. You weren't being oversensitive. He's being over -asked. Who knows? I'm just going to give it a rest for a while. She's very wishy-washy all over the place. Yeah. Conversation was super weird. Yeah, choppy. Hey guys, we're here now. Hey. Okay, Todd. Todd. That guy a microphone. Actually, Kevin, if you could just sit over here now. Perfect. Perfect, Brody and um, what's his, and Frankie. Yeah. You will take K Todd's spot. We call my lady dog, but watch out. Oh, that's a lady again. Huh? Well, maybe, because I had that sleep over there. Yeah, I would have had sleep over it. Uh, yeah, I've been drinking and. Oh, don't try to act. Oh, shut What? Laura was drinking and I was drive home. Okay. Yeah. Okay, to sleep over there. Yeah. Oh. It was. Yeah, they definitely hooked up 100%. Don't you think? Uh, let's I mean, if I had to bet on it. Let's watch this scene and then we'll discuss this okay. more. Brody. Uh, so? Spencer broke up with me. Why is he mad? The thing is, is what I said is like, or what I tried to say to him, but he hung up my mommy before I could even say it. But like, that's between you and Spencer. I'm sorry. He hung up on me and said I had no loyalty to him. And I don't care that you hang out with them. Oh, you sh you roused me before. I'll roused you, but I wouldn't be like, oh, I'm not talking to you anymore, Brody. Him and Heidi is just, I guess they're just inseparable, and that's all he needs right now. That's what I feel like. But so I got him on the rebound. Thank you, Brody. Thank you. So now me and Frankie uh, started dating him. <laughs> So they, Lauren and Brody, went home from Le Deux that night yeah. and she slept over because she had been drinking and didn't want to drive home. Yeah. Or maybe they hooked up. Yeah. For the record, you don't know. People are people always like, why does Wendy know everything? Because like, you only um, existed in the fashion closet. Exactly. So you don't know, but so what do you think? You think they hooked up? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I saw that sauciness in her eyes that night. She likes him. I know. She likes him. He likes it too. He's like, he likes her. I have a fun activity. I didn't uh, fun part. activity, what is it? You can help me for laundry? I'm working here, darling. Excuse me? But I would uh, mentally be here for you. Thanks, I appreciate <laughs> the mental. Does so her shirt say Bony Pony Ranch? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Probably a place in Colorado. Mm. No worries. Moral support. So I'm having breakfast with Jen Bunny today. Jen Bunny breakfast. I bet that'll be exciting. I feel like we've kind of just grown apart a little bit. I don't know, like, we always hung out with Lauren type of thing, you know? Jen's not talking to Lauren, is she? Because <laughs> then you would not be allowed to go to lunch with her. No, yeah. I feel like she Breakfast. just let Lauren do the same thing she did to me. You know, she got so mad at her. The whole thing is just so ridiculous. What do you say, just you and I go to Don Antonio's tonight for dinner? Nobody from the cast will hang out with Spencer and Heidi except for Jen Bunny because she's the other one who's been shunned. So they're just like, who can we do scenes with? Because honestly, I can't keep folding laundry with you in this hellhole apartment because nobody's going to want to watch that and we're going to get kicked off for season four. Like, we need to find someone to go to Koi with. Who are we going to go to Milk with? Who's anybody. 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 <laughs> Jen Bunny? Oh my God, are you okay? 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 Okay. Do you want me to grab your teeth? I love you. Here we go. Doughboy restaurant. <laughs> oh my god, Doughboy. Just water. Just water. Honestly, <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know if they'd pay for my lunch, so I'm just gonna get water. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, it's so different. <laughs> it happens, dog. Is she not wearing any underwear? Well, I mean, low rise. Pants, right. that's the problem, 2007 man. 2007 yeah. problem. Yeah, like I was always concerned my ass crack was hanging out. In 2007, one of my biggest concerns was that my um, butt crack was going to be exposed from my low rise jeans on the reality show that I was on. Duh, everyone else. Duh. What is here going on? So, uh, everything, what about you? Yeah. Yeah. Strange answer, girl. 
So have you not been going out at all? No, not really. Are you not friends with uh, Frankie and all them anymore? Are you? Are you? I mean, I was never really friends with them. Yes, you were. Only because that was Spencer's friends. I never hung out with them before that, you know? Well, is Spencer still friends with those kids? Um, I don't think Spencer and Brody are really the friends anymore. Spencer and Brody. You know what happened was Brody was saying things about Lauren. I can't hear you. <laughs> Brody was saying things about Lauren. So then he starts hanging out with her. Heidi has friends. And Spencer's too. like, you know what, dude? It's like, where's your loyalty? It's like, you know who spread all those rumors? It's Brody Jenner. It's like, and she's hanging out with Brody Jenner as her new friend. You don't know that, though. I do know that. Uh, I, I, I wasn't the one. How would I How know? do you know that? Because I heard him say things about it. Oh. oh. I feel like you can that's tell she's lying. Oh. It's just sad how in the past year, like, so many of our close friendships have just, like, disintegrated. Like, this time She's like, it's just sad how in the last year, you and I have done like terrible things and gotten completely shunned. <laughs> it's so sad. Hmm. But you know, it's less sad that you're also shunned. It makes me feel makes better me, about myself. Yeah, it makes me feel better. You, I understand that as much, but me better, me better. Disintegrated. Like this time last year, do you know, like, like me, you, and Lauren were having the best time of our life. We were the stars of the show, <laughs> and then we f up. Fine. And maybe you'll be friends again. You know what she said to me when we were fighting? She's like, you know that I don't want to be friends with you right now. You know that we need our space right now. And I was like, yeah. She's like, but if you ever needed me, really needed me at 2 AM in the morning, crying, you know I'd be there in a second. Oh, I didn't hear that. After, tell her I say hello. Ooh. Do you think that you would ever like be friends with her again? It's funny how one, uh, it's just funny how things happen. Mm. I know. They're just so in the, like whatever the opposite of the power position is. Yeah. Like they have been dropped and they want back in her good graces like so badly. They, they need to come to some realization that like Lauren doesn't want to be friends with them and like they need to give up because I think puts, they do but just makes them look so bad to keep being like I wish she would take me back but I, but sh Heidi's not doing that she's Jen close is to. doing Jen that. is doing that yeah I oh well like she's because she's like tell her I say hi she was about to I don't really care yeah and mm. then she decided she has to be like I can't yes you do yes yeah. you do yes She's gonna cry. Yeah, I know. Sucks. This yeah. is not the position she wants to be in, uh -uh. and like she, she's just digging herself a deeper hole by defending Spencer's actions because that's her man. Like, she, she really got. I'm not saying she's not responsible for like what happened or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. I do believe everyone is mm -hmm. in some way responsible for. For sure. Everything, like they're wherever they are in mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. It's a really mm -hmm. big topic. I'm not. <laughs> but. Um, I feel really bad for Heidi. I, 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 she really doesn't she, like the spot she's in. Mm -hmm. um, I think she got wrapped up in a lot of stuff. And because I think Heidi is, I think she's a good person. Yeah, yeah. We don't, I, I don't think, I think we have to talk about these shows and not go to the place of like, she, she, but she's a good person or but he's a bad person because yeah. we are all uh, that's a mix of both yeah. and so nobody our criticisms about these characters nobody is getting like uh, sentenced to, to like uh, being hated for the rest to, of like, their lives in jail. our eyes it's yeah. just like the decisions they're making now and their motivations and their thinking yeah. that's just what we're trying to like guess at and have fun with totally and, and like there's Jen Bunny's butt crack again <laughs> Also, like you always say, sorry, just like being on the show and the power of the show and the magnitude of it, it and like that, the role it, that it plays in your decision making it has to be considered. really messes with you. Yes. And it, it's a big part of your actions. And yes, the viewers have to. When you're 22 years old, you're not able to like really see as clearly or think maturely enough about what, uh, how, what are the consequences of my actions, it's you a, know? It's a very complicated game uh -huh. that they're all in. Uh -huh. Still at work. Hey, it's just us. Let's get some shots for you guys for the end of the episode. 
It's like everyone's together but you. Pizza jeans. Ooh, <laughs> pizza jeans. They're, they're just the crust jeans. <laughs> crust, crust jeans. <laughs> wow, okay. Good episode. Yes, I mean, we certainly joked around a lot. Jason called me last night. He wants to like meet and catch up. So do you want to? You hear about the new job opening? No, what? I definitely think that I'm ready and I've worked here for two years. And I think you should do whatever it takes to get that position. We just have like too high of standards in my head. There's no perfect guy. Obviously, I don't want a perfect guy. You're back. You're back. All right. Um, Whitney, be weird into the camera. You guys, that was great. That was a long one. <laughs> that was, that was, that was. But good. Quality. Quality and quantity. Get a win-win. Best of both worlds. Agree. Oh, Agree. That hurt. Let's take a five-minute break. Look at our shmemails. <laughs> and then we'll get on to the next one. Peace in the streets. Thank you guys for watching. Happy that this was a little bit lighter than the last one. The or last will it be? Or will it be? What did we say? No, no, I don't even want to go too deep down into that road. You we're don't just, even have to use that. We're just on the road to positive, fun times. Do you want to do like a rate, subscribe, review, ring the bell? Yeah, you should rate this. You should give it four out of five stars, even though there's five no stars. Star. Uh, thing. But rate it. In, the, in your comments, how many stars do you give us? Out of five. Out of five. And you could do fractions. Uh, Comment, but only nice things that we like to hear. <laughs> um, ring the bell because then you get notifications. And subscribe. And subscribe because that subscribe. also does something subscribe. that I'm unfamiliar with. And tell your friends about it. And come to the premiere. And buy the merch. And join the cult. And oh my God, just do whatever you want, dude. It's I don't want to tell anyone to do anything. It's too much. Do whatever you want. My legs hurt. My legs. Ah! Look at me.